Hello, welcome to part one of our Jack Basics Guide. Reminder that this is game version 4.2. This first part will be essential tools, which will include essential moves, grabs, punishers, and basic combos. In part two, we'll talk about common game plan elements and recommend some players to watch, as well as cap it off with a character summary. For beginners, note the resource links in the video description below. I've included several you should check out. Be sure to at least learn notations so that you can follow along easier. Jack is a simple character, so like some other characters, don't expect this to be a long list of moves, but with that, Let's talk about the big robot man. Jack only has one stance, which is mostly a gimmick, but his full crouch while standing game is fairly robust, so we'll save that for part two. Jack's jabs are relatively fun to talk about since they aren't remotely standard. For starters, his two jab is the fast jab at I-11, but 11 frames is also not the standard 10 frame, although it has really good range, which somewhat makes up for the one extra frame of speed. It's plus one on block, plus nine on hit, so mostly standard there, or you can use 2-1, a very safe high mid natural combo. 2-1-2 is also there to check buttons and only negative 12, which isn't bad for a launch. His one jab is more for punishing since it's a 13 frame start and has two combo options, one safe but high and one unsafe but mid. Regardless, his two jab is still very good and you'll be using it a lot. Weirdly, Jack does in fact have a counter hit launching standing four. It's not magic since it's kind of slow and it's still a high, but it's very safe and does beefy damage even on just regular hit. Note the forward four version is one frame slower, but a little bit more damage and a slightly bigger hitbox, so it's used in juggles more often. 1 plus 2 is an I-15 mid-mid homing launcher, negative 13 but there for the big step read if you need it, so not super complex, just a nice little tool. Forward 1 is a safe I-14 mid poke, it has two safe natural combo options in forward 1-1 one, one, and forward 1-2, although they both end high so there is risk there. Forward 1-2 is more for poking and has additional hits, forward 1-1 one, one is the big knockdown splatting option, but both serve to add more cover for forward 1. Forward 2 is an I-10 power high, negative 12 on block, but plus 5 on hit and a knockdown on counter hit for a free follow-up. And it's your only 10 frame move that isn't a crouch jab, so sometimes you just have to use it. Forward 1 plus 2 and forward 3 plus 4 are power mids cut from the same cloth. Forward 1 plus 2 is significantly faster and will wall bounce but has less range and can be very risky on block if you don't space it well or if you try it against a character with a really good long range punisher. Forward 3 plus 4 is your more traditional power mid, can still splat and is at worst negative 9 on block although you can get as good as negative 5 with proper spacing. The issue is of course speed but still good to use now and then. Down forward 1 is a safe I-14 mid poke with two string follow-ups. Down forward 1-1 one, one is a chunky mid-mid counter hit combo and at only negative 10, it's not as risky as you might expect. Down forward 1-2-1 one, one is your big bet since it floats if down forward 1 hits counter hit, but everything after down forward 1 is high, which of course is where down forward 1-1 one, one comes in. But his down forward 1 has really good range, so the strings just make it a better poke by providing cover. Down forward 2 is an I-15 mid launcher with great range, has a tendency to sneak under highs like many other down forward 2s, negative 14 on block but the extra range and the fact that it'll launch duckers makes up for that a bit. Just a great overall punisher. You have the option to do string punches instead, although down forward 2 ceases to be a launcher when you do that. The sucky part is that it does fairly bad damage unless you get a wall, but you'll still be using it a lot. Down forward 4 is a safe I-12 mid poke, very close to a replacement for an I-13 down forward 1, but not quite in terms of frames and such. Still a very good move and has a slight amount of pushback to help you be able to move after. Down forward 1 plus 2 is an I-18 double power low, knockdown on hit, extremely punishable and the range can be an issue, but it's an unseeable knockdown low and at the wall it can get really nasty because of the position it leaves your opponent. By no means abusable, but make sure they know it's there. Down back 1 is an I-12 low poke, nice damage, plus 2 on hit, nice range, tracks left, and only negative 12 on block. Easily one of the best lows in the game. We'll talk more about full crouch while standing in part 2, but also very important that it leaves him in full crouch for follow-ups. Speaking of, it's worth mentioning full crouch down back 1 as well, since that's actually a better version. It's fully safe on block at negative 8, does more damage, more plus frames on hit, and still the same speed. It's not uncommon at all for jack players to do full crouch down back one from neutral instead of down back one. It takes a bit of practice to do it quickly and smoothly, but can be worth it since it also lets you bring your other full crouch while standing moves into play. You'll still want to do down back one since that will come out faster in the neutral, but still very much worth knowing that full crouch down back one from neutral is an option. On top of that, they both have follow-up punches to mess with your opponent's timing and potentially get some big damage like a wall splat. 
back to is an I-19 power mid, knockdown on hit, plus 5 on block, although in the open the pushback mostly negates that. Very nasty at the wall since the knockdown and plus frames on block get better when your opponent has nowhere to go. Down back two is an I-22 high crushing power low, very risky on block but nice damage, plus 3 on hit and a knockdown on counter hit for a free follow up. If you're fast enough with Megaton Punch, it can actually serve as a decent timing mix up to that as well. If they're getting too cute with their parries, you can also hold it to make it unparryable, still mostly used for the crush property but good to know it exists. Up back 1 plus 2 is a safe homing power crush, knockdown splat on hit and has nice range, a little on the slow side for a power crush but it checks a lot of boxes, just be careful since it is a high. Up 4 2 is an I-24 low crushing power mid, kind of a big robot version of an orbital, very nice plus 4 or so on block, plus 7 on hit and forces crouch, slam on counter hit for a free follow up. Nothing oppressive but a nice little pressure tool, Jack also doesn't have a hop kick so this is kind of all you have to work with. Forward Forward 1 is a safe I-15 power mid, knockdown on hit for a free follow up. It's not homing or anything, but the Forward Forward input helps a lot to realign and make it hard to step. The pushback on block also basically resets to neutral so you can keep moving around after to set up whiffs. This is the move that connects all others. If you wanted to run a 2 or 3 move jack, this would certainly be one of the moves you pick. Needless to say, you'll be using it a lot. Forward Forward 3 is an I-26 power mid, plus 4 on block, which is nice since it hits grounded as well, making it a solid Oki pressure move. Big plus 9 on hit and a launch on counter hit. Really the only big weakness is speed. Back down, back down, down forward 1 is an I-24 high crushing knockdown homing low, commonly called by its name, debugger. Extremely unsafe and given the speed you'd think it would be bad, but not only does the high crush and homing elements help it a lot, his gigaton punch helps you hide it due to similar animations and speeds. Note that there is a slow version of gigaton punch, which you don't want, you'll know you got the right one since it has a blue spark. It's important to get that one because it's faster and does more damage. Back down back down down forward 2 is an I-22 power mid, also called Megaton Punch, negative 11 knockdown wall bounce on hit. Also leaves him full crouch which can be useful at times. Very similar to Debugger, just a mid version, extremely attentive and reactive players can tell the difference but since they're fairly close in speed you can still trip up players trying to block based on timing. Either way it's more or less safe and still hits really hard especially at the wall. Sidestep 2 is a rangy I-17 high, massive plus 9 on block, knockdown splat on hit, really amazing if you place it well, just be careful since it is again a high. Jack's Raise Drive is a beefed up version of his debugger, does more damage thanks to the added second hit, but both hits are also safe on block, nothing game breaking, but a very solid Raise Drive. If you're unfamiliar with Jack, it may surprise you that he's very much a grappler. He has a 1 break, 2 1 plus 2 breaks, and a whopping 3 2 breaks, 2 of which are legit launchers. He has a crouch throw, both his normal side switch on break, which can get you away from the wall, and one of the 1 plus 2 breaks can splat, so he has a complete throw game and the non-launchers all give him very good oki, so be sure to constantly test your opponent with all 3 breaks.
This brings us to the end of part one. You should now know all the basic tools that you need to get started and play some matches. In part two, we'll talk more about other aspects of Jack's game plan to help put it all together. Expect that here in a couple of days. And with that, thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications here on YouTube so that you get alerted when a new video drops. Twitch and Twitter links are also down below. Lastly, huge thank you to our patrons. The more support we have, the more resources we can devote to channel content. So again, I can't thank everyone enough for considering supporting the Patreon. Stay safe everyone and we'll catch you next time.